A onda probamo još jedno mesec da se čujemo. Dobar dan, dami i gospode, još jednom. Dobrodošli na Innovation 2018. Nastavljamo nakon pauze za kafu. Pozivam Artura Turemku, generalnog direktora kompanije Mastercard za tržište Balkana, da nam predstavi prezentaciju Cities as Possible. Gospodin Turemak, please join me on stage. Good morning, actually. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Um, my name is Sertu Turemka. I'm responsible for Mastercard business here in Serbia and in Western Balkans and Bulgaria. And by the way, I'm from Poland. So I'm, I'm saying about this because we, in terms of our mentality, has lots of things in common. And I wanted to stress about this whenever speaking about innovations. Ladies and gentlemen, first of all, I would like to express my big thanks to the organizer that such an event is taking place because whenever in the past when we are looking for the event and conference focus on innovations per se, it was no such a one. So my uh, thanks are especially addressing to uh, Minister Popovic that is hosting this and organizing such things because it's very good that there is a platform to talk about innovations. Organizers um, proposed us to speak about specific narrow topic, which is um, actually narrow in the big domain of payments that I'm representing, being a representative of technology company, particularly about the cities. But before I go to this point, I would like to share a couple of thoughts and observations and experience what is really innovations about and why do we need to talk about innovations. Because of course I treat that innovations as per se is a process but at the same time, it's a journey of talking and journey of doing. And only these two things combined can really make the impact. And to us at MasterCard, innovation is part of our daily job. For us, innovation is part of our DNA. Even though we as a company who actually was established more than 50 years ago, at that time, still as a technology company, I perceive as a dinosaur because at that moment we connected buyers and sellers and actually we built the trust, but it was all about the technology and it was all about the innovations and therefore I'm saying that innovations is part of our DNA. What is really innovation about? Innova innovate as a word means making a change or introducing new ways of doing the things, the same things but in a different way. And this is innovations about. Innovations are very often perceived as something that is disrupting. In our view, that's not the best connotation because disruption very often means something negative. In our view, innovation is about enhancement. It, it's about empowerment. And that requires strong collaboration, partnerships, and cooperation between different parties. Today, it was a lot said about the public-private partnerships. It was a lot of said about governmental, state, and private sectors, corporations. That's what is the innovations about in our understanding. Innovations is also about being sometimes very bold and brave, taking intelligent risk. Innovations is about sometimes acting like a child because children don't see the barriers and the limitations. Innovations is very often about uh, asking very unusual, difficult questions, and innovations is about um, asking sometimes not about the permission, but about the forgiveness, particularly. It may sound funny, but that's what is the innovations about. Um, today, some people said innovations is about making the failures and taking the risk. Of course, that's very important and of course, but also it's a brave question to say how often can you take, how often can you make a failure and to which extent these failures can be acceptable, especially in business. Um, ladies and gentlemen, let me go briefly to the particular topic of uh, my today's speech, uh, smart cities. Smart city is a concept that exists around the world for a couple of years. If we look at the trends that are happening and what United Nations is estimating that by 
end of 2050, 80, 70% of the population will be living in the cities, it, it is the imperative for us, for the business, for the public sector, to really focus on the smart cities development. What, what is really about? Smart city is something that enables the inhabitants and the visitor of the cities the convenient life, enables the good existence, uh, enable the smart access to certain public services like healthcare, transportation, and actually transportation and mobility is the topic that I would like to talk. Um, we at Mastercard are working very closely in the world with many cities, enabling, uh, giving our technology, giving our um, data, giving uh, expertise and experience to drive the smart city concept better. And why I'm saying about the uh, transportation, because particularly Belgrade is the city that is in a smart way becoming smart. Um, as majority of you know, beginning of the year we introduced very smart and the most advanced ticketing system in public transportation in Belgrade. With the, this is the example of the very good and strong collaboration with certain stakeholders that don't work every day in the same domain. So the city of Belgrade, um, Apex Solution is a ticketing systems company, Ike Bank and us jointly created such a good solutions that enables each and every user making the most advanced, the fastest, the most convenient, but at the same time the most uh, secure type of transactions whenever you are taking a ride in the bus. Someone smartly said that the smart city is not about when the richest are driving the cars, but smart city is about when the richest are actually taking the public transportations because it's convenient, because it's comfortable, because it's secure, and that's what the smart city is about. So let me share you my experience working here and being here very often for more than five years. Not far away from here, waiting in a taxi in Knesh Mihailova, I stuck in the traffic and started counting the cars around me. It was 32. But then I started counting the people sitting in these cars and it was 44. Is it really efficient? Not particularly. And actually, it's getting worse. So therefore, the cities are facing the challenges in a way to make the cities and living on the cons of the inhabitants and visitors more efficient, smarter, we would say. So this is the very good example of uh, the strong collaboration between the players that I mentioned, but it's also the good journey to start expansion in this field. Because when we combine this trend within the whole digital revolution that is happening, and the fact that people are not working or living in an analog mode, but are very much connected with the digital technologies and using the devices, not only mobile phones, but more devices that are connected. People are digitally connected and people connect and transact in a digital way. So therefore, this requires much smarter approach to enable people being connected and transacting in a smarter way, in more convenient way, on the, wherever they are, whatever channel and devices they are using. And that's something that is actually in part of our DNA to looking for such solutions, not just being this uh, trusted partner for buyers and sellers being the, in the middle of the commerce, but rather being a good enable to drive this. And we are very much open for having experience from around the world while working with the public sector to drive such solutions, to embrace this change, to innovate, to making the city smarter, but to making the life smarter, more convenient, more secure in this respect. So these are the thoughts I wanted to share. This is the, one of the best examples, one of the projects that we are very much proud of uh, public transportation in Belgrade because it exactly proves those things what the innovation is about. 
to take a good initiative, to be persistent, to have a vision, to execute on this vision, not only talking, but also doing, and making this really live and developing. Thank you very much.